Apple Pay and buy. Apple Pay and buy. I know y'all see how ashy I am. I'm gonna come for me. I feel dead inside. So yeah, we just standing here barefoot and cute. Martin Luther King Day, the day he had a dream. I'm in here. She just gave me a tour. Super nice. I think I'm really gonna like it, but it's so quiet in here, so I'm about to go in there so we can get started. It's so embarrassing. All of the love I see living inside me. I can't see. I'm blind. wait to share how it went with y'all so let me just give y'all a little bit of a rundown because I know I didn't really get to talk to y'all that much at the beginning of the vlog but I signed up for class pass which is basically like you get a certain amount of credits on whatever plan you're on and you can take different types of classes and each class is a certain amount of credit so basically you just have to budget your credits accordingly so I signed up for the free trial of class pass and last week or the week before was it last week I don't remember but um, a little while ago I had signed up for my first class and I ended up having to cancel. So then I kind of was feeling a little bit more melancholy about it this time around because I knew that I really have to work myself up to go to do new things and try new things, especially trying a workout class. Going to the gym in general is something that I have to talk myself into doing just because I'm very intimidated just by the gym as as a whole and so this place is not in a gym or anything like that and so I was telling myself this is the best way to kind of figure out what I like to do and what kind of workouts I can do that will actually be sustainable for somebody like me because I'm also someone who does get bored with going to the gym like I don't at, the, at this moment in time I don't find joy in just going to the gym and working out I know that I will likely get to that point someday but right now as I'm starting off it just doesn't entice me and I'm just not there yet so anyway at the beginning of this week, I was like, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of the free trial because I saw all of my credits just sitting there not being used. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take advantage of this free trial and I'm actually going to put my best foot forward and register for the class again. So that's what I did. When I pulled up, I was so nervous. I did not want to go in. I was early, which is good. I definitely recommend getting places early if you've never been or if you're a little bit nervous, just so you can kind of scope it out, see who's coming in and out. Just, you know, you won't also feel the anxiety of being late. So I sat outside my car for a while, was contemplating going in, and then I finally went in, and when I did, nobody was at the front desk. And you guys, when I tell y'all, I was standing there, and I was like, okay, nobody will know that I'm leaving because no one knew I was here. So I was really about to turn around and go, but then I was like, you know what? I need to uphold the promises that I make to myself and uphold myself, or not uphold myself, but hold myself accountable to the goals that I set for myself. I give myself way too much grace and wiggle room as it pertains to that sort of thing because I am anxious and nervous and all of that and I think those are very normal things to feel but I think the best thing for me is to continue to push through those feelings because I would have never known that I would have liked this class so much if I had just like turned around and left and it was so crazy because as I was standing there contemplating leaving I opened TikTok and one of the girls that I follow I'll put her name on the screen right now she is actually doing going crazy going to pilates working out going to the gym eating clean working on herself one of her videos was right there and she's she's a plus size girl so it's very relatable and one of her videos was right there of her doing pilates and i was like oh god put this here this is my sign i have to go once class started it was super fun i will say it was definitely challenging especially because i haven't worked out on any regular basis or even done workouts like that in so long but it was for sure doable like i was not just completely falling behind it was not way above something that i could you know continuously go to and get better at it and so i just love that and i also love the instructor's energy she was just so sweet and so accommodating you could tell that she is not all the way accustomed to having um maybe someone ask like 
what is it called novice or out of practice as me but as we went through she was providing different modifications and she never once kind of made anyone feel different for not not being able to do the non-modified version or the more advanced thing she gave several options to all the workouts i just loved it so i did hot pilates and body core so it was hot in there and she had a really good playlist and she was just really good at talking people through things and if you needed to sort of change your posture or your form she would just come next to you she wouldn't like say anything she was really good at encouraging so that when we were going through the our circuits and things like that um you know if you're starting to get burned out she was really good at encouraging just the whole thing i'm just elated that i went and i would definitely be back y'all i did have to doordash oh not my clip falling out i did have to doordash i actually tried to go through panera and get some food because i wanted to eat something a little bit more healthy just because you know i just worked out and burned some calories i don't know how many calories because i don't have like an apple watch or anything but i just burned some calories and so i wanted to get something that was a little bit more healthy a little salad a little little green smoothie y'all tell me why i'm going through the drive-thru and my phone died and me i be outside with, with apple pay and vines okay i do not be having a debit card or nothing which is terrible i know that i shouldn't be like that but that's how i live my day-to-day -day life i pay with my gas with an app or apple pay i mostly shop at target that has apple pay if i go to walmart walmart has walmart pay so i literally don't be using my card like that so i didn't have it with me and i honestly don't even really know where it is but yeah my phone died and my car charger is ass i think i probably got it from like dollar tree or one of the dollar stores and it just takes forever to turn my phone on so i sat in the parking lot for a while and then i just went home because i was so embarrassed i was like i literally ordered my food and everything y'all pulling up to the window to pay go turn on to pay with my apple pay phone just dead so yeah i don't know if that was god saying i need to spend the money even though i ended up spending the money like two times over by door dashing food but it is what it is so anyway that's how we are here that's how we got here so yeah i'm gonna chill and eat my food i do have some emails i need to answer which i actually sat down to start answering but i got distracted because i didn't really watch any youtube yesterday or the day before and so i just kind of feel like watching a couple youtube videos but yeah i just wanted to come and report back about the class i loved it i feel amazing i know i'm gonna be sore but i'm actually about to go ahead and schedule myself for the next class and yeah they also have just like a hot yoga because today i did hot pilates they do have a hot yoga that i might look into but yeah i just want to come and talk about it and this is your sign to do something that scares you or that maybe you've been procrastinating especially as a plus size person everything is even more intimidating and just downright scary sometimes but this is your sign to take up space bitch don't be afraid okay and if you're on a weight loss journey you're gonna have to be uncomfortable at some point especially if it's not something that you've ever done before today is hair day it's hair day and i'm about to go in i will leave all the details of the hair that i'm getting installed today it's by dy hair 777 or dye hair 777 i don't know how to pronounce it and I don't remember all the links that I got, but I got it in this super pretty body wave. So yeah, thank you DY Hair or Dye Hair 777 for sponsoring this portion of the video. But we're about to go inside and get it installed. Look how cute it came packaged. I literally love that. So anyway, we're about to go in here because I'm running late.
I'm eating. I don't mess with that. Mm -mm. Yes, I'm. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am having a boy. Yeah! Boy. I'm gonna cry. He's gonna be so cute. Yeah, I'm telling people. Yeah, I don't care. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. I just got off the phone with my mom and my sister, and my sister just found out that she's having a boy. Like, as a girl mom, I'm so fucking excited. Like, I plan to have one more kid. If that's my plan God's probably gonna laugh at my plan but I, I plan on having one more kid and I want it to be a boy so that me and my boyfriend can just go ahead and be done and live our life like it's golden but having a baby nephew that is on my side because I have nephews but their dad is my brother so it's very different and of course I love them and you know love them all the same but it's going to be very different because i see my niece shiloh all the time and i watch her all the time and so now i would get to have a little baby boy oh my gosh like it feels like i'm having a baby but i don't have to go through none of the hard part i'm so fucking excited and my sister really wanted a boy because she kind of i i don't know i don't know if she's gonna be done after this or what but she really did want this next baby to be a boy naturally so obviously she was gonna be happy with whatever as long as the baby is healthy but um yeah we were actually gonna do a mini gender reveal but my mom is going out of town we were all actually supposed to be going out of town but due to certain life events i couldn't go my sister couldn't go and my cousin couldn't go so it was a girl's trip we had all already bought our tickets it was going to be to atlanta and we were gonna go do ball headed ho shit in atlanta but it's just not gonna happen so we're just gonna have to poke a fork in an all girls trip and reschedule it and it really sucks because i don't think i'm gonna get my money back so that's two hundred dollars that i just kind of have to let go but yeah i'm gonna call the airlines and try to get my money back but anyway we got our hair done it's super cute um the lady who did my hair first of all the vibes were amazing and one thing about me having anxiety and just being nervous about new places it is so comforting when people are just genuinely nice people they had me in there cracking up okay there was another lady in there getting her hair braided and it was just really nice and i really really liked it and i liked kind of just their interest in what i was doing because once they all kind of figured out that i was doing youtube they started asking about that which is typical of people that don't really know about youtube but they were just really interested in it and so it was really fun but anyway um her client actually came in that she was supposed to start working on next and i was super late like dumb late because traffic was thick and then i couldn't find where i was supposed to go so um we straightened the hair like you guys saw it wasn't a body wave we straightened it it's super nice but i do think i'm gonna clip the ends because they're just a little bit like I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to straighten them, but if not, then I'm probably just going to literally do a straight across or I might find somebody that can style it for me. But yeah, all four bundles are in my head, which probably means the bundles are on the smaller side, but I really, really like it. But as you guys can see, like we didn't get it bone straight. She didn't go in and she just kind of did a rough straighten and I really was appreciative of that because the body wave was pretty. I'm just not in that phase of my life where I just want big curly hair for every day maybe for like a special occasion or my birthday but for every day i'm this this is me this is i and i love it so yeah i got a regular sew-in and nothing special super cute and yeah i'm actually here at kava and i've been sitting in my car for like 30 minutes because i was on the phone with my mom and my sister my sister three-way called me to tell me the gender of her baby so yeah now we're gonna go in kava kava tricked me because on the the google thing it said they had a drive through and i was like no way and of course it was too good to be true there's literally no drive through but i'm gonna just go in and probably get my food to go i was gonna take myself on a date and do that i don't feel like it anymore i'm gonna go home so um yeah i'm looking for my ring that i dropped in my car yesterday i'm probably gonna have to look for it when i get home because the parking spots over here we are in dallas so the parking spots be y'all know how city living be parking is always sketchy and yeah so anywho i'm very happy with my hair and i'm very happy that i'm literally about to be an aunt again i called myself having baby fever but if my sister just keep having babies then i don't have to have none so it's a win-win you know Okay. Hi, I'm good. How are you? 
are you? Can I do a grain bowl with the saffron? Rice? Uh, to go. Yes, please. You guys take apple pay? Okay. Um, I'll just do the crazy feta and that's all. I'll do double harissa, please. Um, I will do the pickled onions, olives, and some of the corn. Oh no, you're fine. The olives. Um, yes, the hot harissa. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while since I've been in here. So I'm trying to remember everything. Did you want to eat Yes, please. Just a, I guess I can get a small cup. This is my favorite one. It's the cucumber mint lime. My favorite. Bag secure, period. They hate Bag secure, period. They hate and they mad, they period. <laughs> I don't know the word. <laughs> you want the last two biscuits? No, those are from last night. You can eat them. All right, y'all, we back home, obviously. And y'all, I feel like I've been driving all mother freaking day because I low-key have. So this morning, um, I did my normal routine. Obviously, the kids had to go to school, so we woke up. And as we were going downstairs to the car, I realized that I forgot the hair that I was supposed to get sewn in today, which is this. And we were already running behind, so I couldn't turn around. And I obviously wasn't going to, like... I couldn't leave them anywhere because they can't be by themselves. So I was like, okay, I'll just take them to school. Their school is not super far from where I live. And my appointment wasn't until 9. And at that point, it was like a little bit shy of 8 o'clock. So I was like, certainly I'll have enough time. So anyway, I had to go take the kids to school, come back here. And where I contemplated if I was going to have time to go by Starbucks. I ended up going by Starbucks, which is low-key while I was late to my appointment. Um, but yeah, got Starbucks, went to my appointment. Had one mile till E when I arrived at my appointment, so I knew as soon as I was leaving my appointment, I was gonna have to go get gas. And so as soon as I got out of my appointment, I was frantically searching for a gas station. And this part of town, for some reason, you know how usually on the side of the highway, there's like hella gas stations? Not one gas station. About 511 car dealerships though. Car auto service places, hella. Gas station, no. I had to drive like far away from the highway to find a quick trip. Finally was able to get gas. I was praying so hard. I know God was like, girl, relax. But I was praying so hard because the last thing that I wanted to do was run out of gas. It's just a whole unnecessary problem. Anyway, got gas. And then as I was at the gas station, I realized that I forgot my AirPods at the salon that I had just got my hair done at. So I had to go back there. And then I was like, I'm kind of hungry. So I felt my spidey senses told me that there was a kava in the area. You guys already know. I went to kava. Then from Kava, I went to my mama house because I wanted to say bye to my mama. She is going, her and my aunt are going on a trip, like I already told you guys earlier. So yeah, I just wanted to see her off. And then it was time for me to go get the kids from school. And while I was at my parents' house, my dad asked me to pick up my little brother from school because he had to take my mom to the airport. So I had to get the kids from school, drop them to camp, and then go get my little brother. And now we're back. And I'm exhausted. And I don't want to... I don't want to touch a driver's wheel this weekend okay my boyfriend better get ready because i don't want to drive nowhere but anyway um i got a couple of packages really literally two but i thought we can unbox them together so um necessary actually i don't know if i'm technically on their pr list i don't know what me and necessary's relationship is but i'm not mad at it so i got a necessary package i already opened it but i thought we would open it once more together so Necessaire has already sent me a couple of things in the past so like I said I don't know if I'm on their PR list or what's tea but I'm here for it whatever it is so they sent me their body serum I've heard really good things about it I can't remember who was raving about this body serum um I feel like it was Kyra was it Kyra I don't know I sounded very country when I said her name I feel like it was either Kyra or McKenna or both I don't I don't know but um yeah I had never tried it it honestly wasn't like on my list of priorities to try only because I'm still very much so in a chokehold with the Osea body oil I'm not even gonna lie to y'all and I still have my same bottle and use it religiously it is like only like a fourth full now so 
maybe this will be another option but yeah it's in a cute little pump type of situation and apparently this has um hyaluronic acid in it that helps hydrate replenish and pump we're gonna use some on my hand because my hand is very much so ashy so ooh, i like this wait is it about to be sticky though because i don't do sticky oh it's really not that sticky i'm just kind of putting it on my hands i'm sure this is not how you're supposed to use it like i'm sure you're supposed to use it like on your body and stuff but i like it the, it's very slick i don't know how to explain the texture it's like a a slick lotion and it's not oily it's just slick and it's not sticky either like how you would expect something this texture to be like y'all see the texture of it it's just like very slick lotion i know that's probably not a good explanation i know y'all see how ashy i am don't come for me okay i washed my hands earlier and did not put any lotion on because i really didn't have no lotion um but yeah i really like this i could definitely see me putting this on after i get out of the shower i am definitely a oil serum body serum type of girl when i get out of the shower because i be tired and sometimes i don't feel like doing the butt body butter that you have to rub in for years so anyway love that and then they also sent over this body bar i didn't even know necessarily had a like bar soap but this could be pretty cool because i really like to rotate my base body wash it's fragrance free so i don't know why i smelled it it comes in this like little black paper i don't know why i'm opening it and what i'm expecting it to be but oh it's so cute it's just a soap it says for your body so yeah we have a serum and a soap i'm excited to try the soap like i said i feel like necessary is really good as like a base cleanser when you're in the shower if you even kind of do your shower routine like that sorry y'all this hair is really bothering me how it's like waving up right here and i do not like that but moving on so anyway thank you so much necessary for sending that over to me y'all my mouth is so dry put some tea in there i had water in there earlier but i was peeing like a freaking lizard or frog or whatever pees more um this i actually know what this is so this company sent this to me they were supposed to send it a while ago but i guess our wires got crossed somehow so i don't want to mispronounce this company's name but this is a watch and i believe it's joissa 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 i don't know but it's a swiss watch and yeah i had to send them my wrist size so that they could send me this watch and i'm very excited about it if i can get it out of the box let me just tear this i'm not the girl who can unbox things aesthetically okay so here you can kind of see the brand name it's me hiding behind the box trying to get the camera to focus on the box focus on the box i don't know if you guys can see the name on there or not i think you can anyway obviously i will have everything linked in the description box down below but they sent me this i would be <laughs> i would be lying if i said that was the first time that happened our smoke alarm has been doing that for like the past couple of days and i forgot to put in the work order so if they keep doing it over the weekend, we just gonna have to call maintenance because what I can be listening to is that. Anyway, here is the watch. I have already like looked at it and stuff. Oh, y'all could not see that at all. Y'all see? It has this like, I don't even know, this like jewel type of, I'll have to flip the camera and show you guys better um but it's just so pretty and when i saw this on their site i was like absolutely i have an old watch that i used to wear all the time that i actually got from i want to say it was either from ross or Dee Dee's, and i used to get so many compliments on that watch and i'm like y'all this watch don't even work like it was all crusted and faded when you look at it up close and i used to get so many compliments on that watch but obviously when you know better you do better so i haven't been wearing it and i've really been wanting another watch that I could wear when I'm just feeling, you know, when I'm just feeling cute, okay? So I thought this was so cute and I love the size. It's so dainty and I already wear this bangle all the time. So I feel like it would pair so well together. Look how cute. Mm -hmm. 
I'm glad. See, we unboxed this in a good order because I couldn't show y'all my wrist a couple seconds ago because they was ashy. But yeah, this is actually a Swiss watch. I don't know if I already said that. Um, and I am going to have to go get, it fits me, but it fits me super tight. So I am going to have to go get links added to it. So I will have to find a jeweler or someplace that can add the links, but, um, they also sent extra links. So I'll probably get them both added just so that I can have a little bit more wiggle room inside the watch. Like I said, I gave them my exact wrist size. So I don't know if I should have like added a couple of centimeters or whatever, but yeah, I love it. It's super cute super girly let me turn it around so you guys can see so here is what the watch looks like on as you guys can see it fits but it's just a lot more snug than i would like for it to be but it's super cute with my bangle very adorable so whenever i get the links added this will definitely be my go-to anyway y'all i don't know if i will be vlogging anymore today or not because i don't think i'm gonna be doing anything that's vlog worthy or that interesting we might be going over my parents house i really don't know i kind of just want to chill i told my sister we might come over but i don't know i just want to lay down and just chill at my own house and not have to like worry about the kids falling asleep in my parents house and then we have to carry sleep kids upstairs it just be a lot and i love chilling at my parents house because it's so comfortable and cozy but the transition home be what gets me because we never come home at a decent time it's always like midnight or 1 a.m the kids be knocked out It'd be just a lot. <laughs> um, but we do have a couple more things going on this weekend. I think I'm going to have some brunch plans going on on Sunday. And then, yeah, I don't know. We might run some errands tomorrow. So I think I will just pick you guys back up tomorrow. My camera is dying anyway. And like I said, I don't think we're doing anything revolutionary tonight. Hi, you guys. Good morning. I just got out of the shower. And now I am finishing up my skin. Hey, Rhea. Um, y'all, I did two big no-nos last night. I slept in my makeup, and I did not wrap my hair. And y'all know I just got my hair done. But literally, y'all, I was so out of it last night. I did not feel good. Um, my head was hurting from getting my hair done. And just, yeah, I was just exhausted. So I did not take my makeup off or wrap my hair yesterday or last night. So... This morning I felt gross. I was hot and sweating because my hair was on me and we slept on the couch also. So it was just everything all the way around. Oh, let us not go there. Everything all the way around was kind of out of whack this morning. So the house was a mess. We got up and cleaned up a little bit. And then I took a shower. Hi, baby. And then I took a shower and did my full... Well, I'm, I shouldn't say I did my full skincare because I'm going to kind of like do a pamper session at some point over the weekend. Mommy, can I do my um not right now baby we're getting ready to go maybe what? later but anyway like i was saying you guys i felt super gross this morning so i went in with my more aggressive face wash which is just my panoxyl um i feel like it gives me a better clean cleanse than all of my other cleansers whenever i have like residual makeup and stuff my daily face wash is the la roche posay which i'm sure you guys know because like everyone is pretty much using that at this point but i really like the um panoxyl because it really has helped lighten like dark marks and stuff on my face over time and i got out of the habit of using it but i'm about to start back using it especially as i kind of want to get my skin together for the summer but anyway it's not morning anymore i don't know if i said good morning but it's not morning it's i think it's like almost 12 at this point it is 12 12 15. we woke up at almost 10. so yeah we cleaned well picked up we didn't like deep clean but you know what i mean we cleaned the house and then i took a shower and now we're gonna go over and spend i guess most of the day over at my parents house my sister is there my mom is out of town as you guys already know so um we're just gonna watch movies and chill and just you know relax and so i'm really looking forward to that you got your makeup okay why don't you go get like a target bag or something and put it in but yeah we're just gonna chill i am gonna be taking mila over to her other grandma's house to see her at some point today so that will be happening i probably will not take y'all with me for that obviously but 
that's my only plan for today really we have to do like boring stuff like put our walmart grocery order in and get stuff for the house so yeah we are literally out of like all of our house stuff we need tissue dish soap literally everything so yeah so pretty much all we have going on i'm low energy right now because i haven't had no coffee you already know i'll be turned off the caffeine okay so as soon as we leave i'm gonna see if we can stop by starbucks pretty much our normal saturday ritual honestly except i'm gonna have to drive because we're taking my car to give my niece the the kitchen that used to be zara's because she got a new one for christmas so we're gonna give the old one to my niece because she loves it i was babysitting her the other day and she was all over that kitchen so i was like yeah it was a good decision keeping this for her i think my sister's gonna give it a little bit of a facelift because it is definitely pre-love okay but yeah that's pretty much our plan for the day i'm really looking forward to sitting and doing nothing because i just feel like this week was a lot <laughs> it really wasn't that bad but it was just our first week back into the swing of things so it felt like a lot but yeah i'm ready to sit down and eat have some good food and relax for a little bit i thought i was gonna make me an iced coffee here but it's giving starbucks today like i feel like it's not a saturday if i don't get starbucks so probably gonna go back to only having starbucks on saturdays since i um kind of figured out an iced coffee situation that i can make at home that i like but yeah um my thoughts on this hair is that for the price even though i didn't pay for it but i always look at the real price of these type of things for the price it's not bad you get four bundles and a closure i think for like one something which is honestly unheard of but i will say that the bundles were small and also this hair does shed it doesn't shed like a crazy ton but it definitely does shed like probably like four to five strands every time i like comb it or brush it and the ends are like i already showed y'all the ends but they're kind of i don't know the word they're not thin per se they're just kind of like frazzled almost like when someone with naturally curly hair straightens their hair but doesn't do a good job it's kind of like that <laughs> So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to figure out some place to go next week because get my hair like cut and styled more to my liking. But yeah, overall, I'm obviously much happier because of my hair done. We're just gonna sit here. Well, we're in the line, baby. So yeah, we are. What? We're at Starbucks right now, as I'm sure much of y'all could have guessed. And um, World just got out actually and went to Chick Fil A next door. Mila! Cause we were gonna go there for lunch but it's full like the drive through is spilling out into the street so he just said he's gonna go inside and get our food mila you're supposed to be sitting down in your car seat um but yeah so he did he's doing that while we are waiting in this long ass stop starbucks line and yeah get in your seat belt please we're like literally here at the worst time it's already saturday so the businesses be more packed than usual but then it's like between 12 and 1 which is the time that everybody decides that they collectively want to get hungry so yeah all i know is i need some coffee so i'm gonna sit in whatever line however long it is to get what i need because i feel dead inside i've been feeling big sunglasses lately so i had to fish these out and you know put them on i don't know if it's because of the hair or whatever but i get most of my sunglasses from either diddy's or ross so i'm kind of, sometimes i'll stumble across a cute pair in target but i'm so spoiled by the ultra cheap prices of diddy's and ross so i don't be wanting to pay like more than ten dollars for my sunglasses yeah these are from pretty sure these are from diddy's so yeah
me and my girl just finished having dinner. Well, it wasn't supposed to be dinner, it was supposed to be brunch. How about we both <laughs> took our shoes off as soon as we got outside? Not even kidding, like I know that ain't what you're supposed to do, but I don't know what we were both thinking. Look and then, look where we are, we didn't make out the door. Girl, we're, we're, we're y'all, we're literally right here. <laughs> and we, as soon as we got out the door, we was like, uh-uh, get somebody else to do it. I cannot with these shoes. My calves, y'all, it feels like I was doing like up downs on my little, y'all know how y'all do that? It, my calves are on fire, okay? It took everything in me not to take them off before we got outside. So yeah, we just standing here barefoot and cute. Who's honking? Oh, that person, my, yeah, I'm like, can't be at me. <sighs> Anywho, I got to see my boo. Yes, honey, love her so much. Mm, this is my like <laughs> ride or die from high school, y'all. These stood no chance. These have never been comfortable. I feel like when you big, you gotta be choosy. And these, I feel like was about to split my feet in half. Like, like between my toes, felt like it was about to split it right down the middle. They was cute though. They was cute. <laughs> they gonna be cute, but they was hurting. All right, girl, we'll drive safe. Okay, you too. How far is your drive? I have 30 minutes. Okay, not too so, bad. Let me know when you make it. You too. Bye, Bye girl. Good morning, you guys. It is monday martin luther king day the day he had a dream the day he had a dream well i don't know today's the day he had a dream but <laughs> don't get to the point <laughs> i'm about to make the kids some breakfast it's like 9 45 almost so i'm making the kids some breakfast i've been up since a little bit before eight but the kids were not up so i tiptoed into the kitchen to make me an iced coffee and then as soon as I was done making it Mila was awake so yeah they're up playing I'm about to go see what they're doing because oftentimes when they're quiet and getting along it results in a mess and I have to decide if it's worth the quiet you know what I mean so Mila's having one of these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls we haven't been buying these because honestly they're not a good deal for your money but her and my boyfriend have really been missing them they eat these all the time i'll eat them every now and again too but they are the main ones that like to eat these so i'm giving her one of those and zara asked for a fruit plate this morning not this like four day old taco bell burrito in the microwave wow okay i'm just gonna set that there but yeah zara asked for a fruit plate so i'm gonna make her that how long i think it's like two minutes yeah Zara is like a vegetarian. I would say vegan, but she loves cheese. So she's definitely more so my like Nikki eater. So I'm about to make her some fruit and yogurt. And she really likes granola too. So also, y'all, the other day, last vlog I posted, y'all saw we got a grocery order. Tell me why all of our eggs are broken. My boyfriend has to take them back. But literally all of the eggs, they look fine from the top, but from the bottom, they all have little holes in them. I'm like, how did this happen? What, what's up? Why are you shiny? What? What'd you put on, oil? Yes. Sorry, you do not want this yogurt? No, this tortilla saved my life. That tortilla? Yes. Tortilla head. Oh. It's Mommy, I want cheese with it too. Okay, Zara. Alright, Mila. Here you want that yogurt instead? No, I want cheese too. Okay, I'm saying, do you want this yogurt instead of this one? Yeah. Okay. You look like a little glazed donut. <laughs> the girls are in there putting on my oil on their face. Thankfully, it's not like scented or anything come on skincare queen oh y'all these plates are my absolute favorite plates so if you guys are interested in getting these they come in like a three pack of neutral colors zara has the other one and then there's a darker gray one check out my um amazon storefront i bought these so long ago and they've held up great and i love them they're aesthetic for all my aesthetic moms out there um yeah they're neutral super cute we love them Four violets from everyone in the room. I don't know why I'm trying to fix my hair. I look crazy. Um, but yeah, today we are just going to be chilling. We might have a few errands to run, but I'm pretty sure I'm about to end this vlog here because I want to get it uploaded tomorrow. Like I said, I'm trying to do like shorter 
vlogs so I can upload more frequently so that you guys can just have more relevant content because I also feel like whenever I I'm sorry y'all my mouth is crusty eyes crusty everything crusty let me let y'all back up a little bit um <laughs> let me put y'all somewhere where y'all can see me this will have to do like I was saying I feel like sometimes whenever I vlog and it's so spread out that when I go to edit it, I forget how I wanted it or I just kind of disconnect from the content, which makes me not want to edit it in a nice way. Or I just rush through editing and I don't like that. So let me know what you guys think. You guys seem to like the most recent vlog that I posted. And I was going to do a Sunday reset, but I didn't reset. So I promise the Sunday resets will be back. I just kind of wanted to make sure I was... I don't know what this little hair over here is doing. Can y'all see him? I don't know what. Y'all, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure that I was staying true to the content that I also love. Like, I love Sunday resets, but I didn't want to only do Sunday resets, if that makes sense. So, they will be back, I promise. Um, but I also haven't posted any because I haven't been resetting on Sundays. Like, I've been resetting as far as do cleaning up, but I haven't been doing my self-care the way I want to I haven't been doing a lot of that just because life has been very crazy um so it is starting to mellow back out and I'm very excited for that so we can definitely pick up where we left off as far as our Sunday resets and our self-care resets and all of that um but yeah life has just been lifing and I've just been prioritizing um being present with my kids and just making sure that we're all good but um, I promise everybody is good and fine but yeah y'all I think it's gonna be the end of the vlog I hate the end of the vlog like it's so chewed uh, yesterday I didn't really vlog well I vlogged but I didn't really talk to you guys a lot yesterday but I ended up going out with one of my good girlfriends that is something that is on my 2023 goals is to like just prioritize my friendships motherhood is very isolating and then with me trying to reach certain goals, I naturally isolate myself whenever I'm laser focused on hitting my goals. And so as I was sort of doing like a retrospect of last year, I realized I really didn't go out and live life a lot. Like I just kind of stayed at home and just hyper focused on things and it just doesn't feel good to do that. So anyway, we went yesterday to the super cute restaurant over in Plano. It's called Goat, Goat and Vine. It was super cute. The aesthetic was there. The food wasn't like anything revolutionary. Like it was good. I'd go back, but it wasn't, you know, anything that you couldn't probably find at the next super cute aesthetic brunch spot. But anyway, yeah, we went there, caught up a little bit, and yeah, it was really fun. So I am definitely looking forward to just hanging out with my friends more and just, you know, just living my life. Like it's golden. But yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it um and i love y'all thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye